It's November, so it's time to announce my Word Power Book Club Pick of the Month. It's called The Law of Innocence by one of my favorite authors in the world, Michael Connolly. He is not just a world-famous author, but he has sold over 200 million books. And I'm excited that he's joining us via Zoom to talk about not just his new book, but his fantastic career. Michael, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me on. It's so good to see you, man. It's been a while. I saw you at BEA, Book Expo America, many years ago, and uh, you've written about 20 books since then. <laughs> I stay busy. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, before we get into the book, I just want to ask you how you and your family are doing during COVID. Uh, we're doing good. I, I'm one of these people that re can't really complain. Um, as you know, as writers, we, uh, we like to uh, be by ourselves writing at home. So I've kind of been on lockdown for about 25 years, so I can't really complain. And uh, I had the added bonus of uh, I have one grown daughter, and she uh, came home for home cooking while she was on lockdown as well. So um, I know it's a tough time out there for many, many people. I'm just not one of them. I can't really complain. Yeah, you know, it reminds me of uh, one of your, your biggest characters, in my opinion, Harry Bosch uh, and Maddie. Uh, coming to live with him. Uh, so uh, it's kind of parallel to, to some of your work. Uh, listen, I started this book club because I wanted to encourage viewers to read at least a book a month. And making your new book, The Law of Innocence, our November book, is, uh, is so much fun. It's part of the legal series, The Lincoln Lawyer, uh, which some will remember was a movie uh, that was starring Matthew McConaughey. Um, and I want to start off real fast before we get into it. I always love how you open your books. I want to read real fast how you start this book. You say, a murder case is like a tree, a tall tree, an oak tree. It's been carefully planted and cared for by the state, watered and trimmed when needed, examined for disease and parasites of any kind. Its root system is constantly monitored as it flourishes underground and clings tightly to the earth. No money is spared in guarding the tree. Its caretakers are granted immense powers to protect and serve it. The tree's branches eventually grow and spread wide in splendor. They provide deep shade for those who seek true justice. The branches spring from a thick and sturdy trunk. Direct evidence, circumstantial evidence, forensic science, motive and opportunity. The tree must stand strong against the winds that challenge it. And that's where I come in. I'm the man with the ax. My job is to cut the tree down to the ground and burn its wood to ashes. <laughs> now that's, that's, the, how you, that's how you start a book, man. <laughs> well, that's the kicker at the end. It's, it's all the glory of the justice system, but you know, part of that justice system is a uh, very vibrant defense of anyone accused of a crime, and that's what uh, Mickey Holler does. Yeah, so, uh, so you, you tend to write your books in the year to keep them contemporary, that's happening. So, for example, you're in the midst of writing The Law of Innocence and COVID-19 happens. How did that affect your creative process? Uh, I took a big hit for the, probably the first time in my career. I've been a uh, you know, professional writer as a journalist or a novelist for just about 40 years. And I've never experienced this thing called writer's block. But I was writing this book, The Law of Innocence. It was set in April of this year in Los Angeles. And then COVID came. And the courtrooms were closed, um, you know, at, like everything. Uh, we were on lockdown. So I was in the midst of writing a book that wasn't realistic. And I had to rethink and re retool what I was doing. And also just being like anyone in this pandemic, not knowing where we were headed as a world, as a culture, as everything. It really kind of put the whammy on me. So I, I just basically stopped writing for almost a month. Of course, I was thinking about what I was doing, and then after a month, I, you know, I had to kind of pull myself up by the bootstraps, straps, and say, let's get back to work and let's figure this out. So I, it sounds like an easy fix, but basically, I shifted the book earlier, a few months earlier, so it's taking place on the cusp of the pandemic when we're just starting to hear about it, and there's some warnings, and there's some lack of warnings, and there's, you know, some basically confusion which in a crime novel is always good. And so it was, I was able to kind of reflect what was going on in our world in January and February uh, in the book. Uh, 